Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> Somebody asked me the difference between StreamYard and Restream. And I'm going to tell you this right now. When you have Restream, actually, um, hello? And I'm going to tell you this right now. When you Hold on. have Restream, actually, um, hello? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay. Okay, there I am. I had a window open. So when you have Restream and StreamYard, the difference right away is when you set up a, a StreamYard live, it announces that you're getting ready to go live. Now, you can either tell it that you want to put it on a timer and make it a certain time, or you can just go live. I have a bad habit of setting up the restream, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, setting up a live and then going walking away and doing other stuff. But I don't turn the camera on live, so that's a good thing. But I need to, like, not do that because you can accidentally hit the live thing and then you just live. So whatever's going on in your real life will be going on on the YouTube. Restream, when you set up a live for restream, you, you still have to hit live, but it does not announce it to YouTube that you have a live set up. So this live right here, I set up at 1130. I actually turned it on to go live at 1130. And it is now 1204. I forgot all about it. Now, mind you, I'm over here putting stuff in order and organizing this stuff. So I'm still sitting right here. But then I happened to see, I wanted to see who was live before I went live because I try to look. But I don't always, that's not how I always do my lives because you can always watch replay. Um, unless it's somebody's show that I really want to see. I don't, now, uh, unless it's Miss Dee Dee or Miss Janet, I try to always uh, watch those while they are live um, Mondays and Wednesdays in the mornings. Uh, so those are my two faves that I try to watch while they are live. <clears throat> but if I don't catch them while I'm live, I mean, while they're live, I will definitely do the replay. So, because um, replay is there for a reason, y'all. So don't feel guilty if you do hop on when somebody else is on or if I'm on and you hop. I, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Mm -mm, as I like replay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, uh, good morning. Well, it's 12.06 now, so it is afternoon. Good afternoon. So I had, um, I'm working on a color along with Ryan Colors here on the YT. And I was over there at, um, who's live? I was on somebody's live yesterday and it was showing the update for the um, thing. Shall I get so bad with these names sometimes, people's names and their real names. And I don't want to say e either or. So Ryan Color is uh, Ryan Colors is doing a color along in Color Universe. It's his first Kirby page, and he is actually doing it inside of the book. For those that that think it's sacrilegious to take the pages out the book, good lord. Um, and it is the cover page of the book that he is doing. Now I have another copy of this book. Oh, I got 11 of them. So I have other pages of the same pages in um in his book because he's got copulation. So he's got some of his favorite colorings. So I'm actually doing two. And I've actually started this a while ago, so don't tell nobody. Um, So this is the, um, and actually this was a double page spread in one of his books. So this fish was going the other way, you know. So anyway, in this copulation book, he only put one fish. He put the bigger of the two. So, and then he flipped it around because on the cover it's going this way. And then in the book, it's going the opposite way. So this is, this is the color along that I had started. And I'm trying to actually duplicate this, um, even though they're two different uh, pictures of the same fish. It's a beta fish. So I'm trying to duplicate it. Now, this isn't the one I'm doing for the color along. This is just the one that I happen to be doing. And um, I really like it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I have been doing with this one. So I was starting this one while he was 
um, getting his swatch sheets and stuff together. And this is what it actually looks like there. But this is what I've been doing. So anyway, now this is the one that he is doing. And I used um, the first uh, palette. He did a palette. Um, where's my book? Y'all y'all saw it already. So I used, uh, he was using Inktense. And I started out with uh, one of the colors, his teal colors that he had in it. And then I kind of veered away because Inktense is very, very powerful. And he's blending and everything with the Inktense. More power to him. I can't do it just yet. <laughs> Uh, uh I'm not that good to, right now, um, especially to do it on the live if I happen to go live with it. So I just started it out with the teal palette that he had uh, picked. So I I'm, I picked some more colors and I used my Prisma colors. So the re the beginning part is in the uh, ink tints, but the rest of it that I've colored is is with Prisma color and. I probably do the whole fish with Prisma colors, and then I may come through and go back to um, the ink tints. But I just can't blend right now with the ink tints on something like this. Like I could do a flower. It's just certain things you just feel comfortable doing, but I I don't feel comfortable working this one as a color along and to do it in ink tint. So, but anyway, you do what you feel and what you feel comfortable. And he's just offered some suggestions with his palette. And I happen to just go ahead and um, copy it. So I can have that for later on. So yeah, so this is my version of the fish that I am coloring, doing a color along with him. I'm using the teals, um, some gold, some greens. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep it uh, limited, no more than four or five colors. Oh, and some yellows. So, yeah, so that's my update for that. He had part two the other night. So if you go to his channel, you will see, um, I think, part two. So part three is coming up. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's what's going on with that color along. And that's my updated um update for my page so um <clears throat> the title of the video <laughs> is organizing what does it say going to organize the black widows 100 yeah it's 100 of them it's six seven pencil cases uh five regular pencil cases and then two uh one dark skin and one light skin uh, case, which only has 12 in each one. So basically I did just like everybody else did, put them all together. So I got this big old case of which I do not like this case at all. Mm -mm. For some reason, I just don't like it. Not for this, not for 180 pencils. Actually, I wish these came out. I guess I could cut them to make put them out, but there are some cases where this snaps in and out and you can do that. But it's something about this case that I don't like. Now, Miss Dee Dee Wellingham did give, give me a case, which I really like. So this has more than 180 spots inside of it. So I'm going to switch. When I get them all organized, I'm going to switch these black widows and put them in here because it is very much fitted. It's a fitted case. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the issue with doing them like doing these several cases, because see, if you look at them, like they're all different. Like the, the barrel of the pencils are different. The numbering system is different. Just everything is different. And I, I and so I look at these, I'm looking at these, the barrel in when I should be looking at the tips. They're not in any freaking order. I don't really use them enough. I have used them because there's some that are very short, but I end up using the same colors all the time. So what I did was, I think I got this one, this swatch sheet from Emily Illustrator, and I had completed it. I didn't do a good job of putting the color down, so it, and I didn't spray it with fixative. I sprayed the Prismacolor sheet with fixative, and then another, the Brute Funder sheet with fixative. And it really, well, especially with the Prismacolor, because, you know, the Prismacolor will get a little bloom on it. So I made sure I hit it with the blender, and then I sprayed it with the fixative, and it looks so pretty. 
anyway so i want to make this sheet a little bit better um but i'm going to i printed off another one this sheet here and this one was emily the illustrator if you go to her website or i mean i'm sorry any of her videos she has a um a link to her uh swatch sheets and she offers those for free and um now these are written in chinese um there are some people i think pamela's passion has the list of these colors uh in english the names of the colors of which i would love um she is selling her her list so if you do want a list that has the names and the numbers of the colors you can go to her website she's the only one i know that's selling it i tried to take a copy of it like google it like i tried to put take a google picture what am i telling the line oh i was am i no i was talking about the brute funders y'all i'm sorry y'all child i just did the brute funders actually i need to put that video up i did a fast thing of it anyway so no these are in english <laughs> oh, okay mm -hmm. blame it on my mind blame it on my age blame it on something blame it on the rain so anyway so these are already in order so never mind so um i printed off this swatch sheet i did pay a dollar 35 cents i got it from etsy shop and it is by uh, a company called a tailored image and it's the same company that i bought two other swatch sheets from and then also get my swatch sheets from bubble studio so i was looking at these and she put these in her in her order now they came with the swatch sheet i don't know where that thing is and inside of the cans they have uh swatch sheets well it didn't come with like one big swatch sheet that came with each one of them had their own little swatch thing or either they had it already printed on the can something like that i don't know so this one was a dollar something and these are in a different order so ta uh a tailored image put theirs in a different order now i actually always like my colors to start out with the yellows and to end with the black and the white that's just how i like it now emily's um starts out with the white and then her black is up here and then i think she's got grays she's got the grays at the bottom and a lot of people do them different ways <coughs> So, and because this one is, um, not, the paper is a little bit different than this paper and I didn't seal it and do it well. So when I get my, um, swatch sheet together, I'll take this one and put it inside the case. So I'll still, uh, have it. Now this one, I'm going to put in my swatch book and, and the order is a little bit different <clears throat> than hers. Now, the thing is putting these all together so what i decided to do was <coughs> cough child these right here are risers for you use for your bed or your furniture and stuff so i've got four of these so i need six containers i should do six containers so i got four of these then i got this right here so this has got three spaces. So this is, this will hold seven, seven, whatever, seven pencils. So I'm not going to do this sitting here on camera, like while I do all of it. And so basically, what are those? Oh, these are my, um, these are not part of it. These are, um, very thin prismacolor very thins those things will make your hands hurt they are very thin and very very hard so basically i'm just going to take all these out yeah the reason why i don't like this case because they got these things like this these are hard to put in and out they really are just style a case so let me just move these out the way i'm gonna take all the pencils out don't even worry about it. It ain't going to hurt nobody. I'm going to take them all out and put them in the middle of this table. And because they are not round, they do not roll. There's nothing worse than your pencil, put, taking your pencils out and they're rolling all over the day on the table to hit the wood floor and break inside. 
Um, now, legend has it this company is supposed to be coming out with one set of the 180, which has all of them looking the same. That legend's been out for two or three years, and we haven't seen anything. Have y'all seen them yet? I haven't seen them. The only thing I'm hoping that they'll still be is black, because they're called Black Widows. Like, why would you change the name of them? And then I just was listening to Emily, and Emily said that somebody said that they was going to be coming out with a pastel color. I mean, a pastel set. Well, I find that hard to believe because they got all these daggone pastel colors in here. So are y'all just going to pull the pastel colors out of here or are you making new pastel colors? That's a bit too much. You got 180 daggone pencils. Why don't you just leave it like that? And if you have the pastel set, that's fine. You can pull it out of these colors because what you're trying to do is you're making us buy another set of pencils. Like, really? We haven't even finished using these yet. Okay, I'm just saying. Now, if you only can get one set of the, I suggest getting the Monarch ones. I think it's a 10 of 36 or 48. I can't remember. Or getting two of this, and if you're interested in doing skin tones. Now, all of the skin tones are not dark skin tones. The skin tone sets, they have a light skin tone set and a dark skin tone set. Okay, so... When I'm talking about skin tones, I'm usually talking about melanated skin tones because, you know, I just felt like there was never really enough colors for us to really color melanated people. And melanated people don't always have to be black people. Some people are darker and they might be, you know, different races and stuff. Like, you know, so don't think I'm always um, trying to start something. <laughs> I'm just saying that people come in all different colors. And basically, it's the undertones, okay? Because you can have those undertones, and those are really what make your skin tone. Okay? Red and yellow and all those colors, whatever the colors, undertone you have. So... <clears throat> And another thing I don't particularly like about this case either is because they these slots, they're not individual slots. I like individual slots better than um, these. They fit three or four pencils in here or more because this has got, I got five in here. That's because they uh, are not square. I mean, are not round or square. The refunders, I could only put three in each one. So. Oh, they're so pretty. And the colors are just so vivid, bright. They're really a good quality pencil. So these are, like I said, the um, very thin. So yeah, this case, it's just flimsy. I don't know. It, it wasn't cheap. It was on sale. But I, I just, I'll use it for something else. So, but I like the individual ones better. Now, the thing that's going to come in handy is I might not need all of these because these pencils this is seven different sets so basically i'll just have to put them in order like the ones that have these uh the the big color spot and a little orange band these are the monarchs and so they're oh hold on see now these are the dragons Girl, hold on, let me pull out each one. Okay, so there's skin. Let me just pull out one of each. There's a skin light. This is skin light. Or is skin dark? Girl. Girl. This ain't okay. That's skin light. 
This one is Monarch. This is, see this got a pastel in here. Pastel, this is the Scorpion. So I'll just pull out one of each. This is a Dragon Set. That's the Monarch. I already got them. So I need a Skin Dark. Here's the Cobra. Girl, this is... Once you break things down, break your tasks down into small little segments, then it's easier to figure out where you're at. Okay, here's skin dark. Put that right beside skin light. And then I got the dragon. Dragon, monarch, scorpion. Girl, now I'm getting a headache. Okay. Hold on, y'all. See? See how I have to think? Okay. Okay, so I got the cobra. We'll put a little check mark. Cobra. I got the dragon. Dragon. I got the scorpion. Scorpion. I got the monarch. Monarch. <clears throat> I got the skin light and the skin dark. So I'm missing the black widow. Where's the black widow? I forgot what the black widow looks like. I imagine it's all black. Yep, all black. Okay, so check all black. Okay. And if you need to see what they look like, well, the list. Oh, Lord, is that going to show y'all? No. Well, don't worry about it. Trust what I say. It's written there. Whatever. Good Lord. Okay, so these are the ones that I'm looking for and I can put into the thing. So it'll be easier for me to pull out all the black ones. Well, no, that ain't. It's not going to be easy because the black with the red writing are the black widows. Okay, so the black with the red writing are the black widows. So that's black widow. So I can pull out all the black. And then the one that doesn't have the red writing, that is the scorpion. Okay. Goodness gracious, scorpion. Yeah, so you got to do all this. You got to break this down into little things, into the little tasks. Now, I could just sit here and put them all in color order. Now, let's think about that. I would just have to look at the tips. Because I am swatching that. I'm trying to do two things at one time. And because I am trying to do two things at one time, and my the end project is going to be all of them combined, but in so I will not separate them. Okay, see how easy that was to figure that out? So what I am looking at is the tips. So I will have two. I'm going to pull out all of the blues. Oh, no, I'm going to pull out all the greens. Those are easier to, to identify. Oh, look at you. Oh, you got jacked up, boo. Look at you. I'm sorry. I didn't do that on purpose, child. You just going to have to. Don't tell nobody. So I'm going by the green. Okay. And I don't care if it's light green, dark green, whatever green. I'm pulling out all the green. Do we have to look at you do this view? Because this sounds stupid. Girl, I, I can't help what y'all watch. Okay. I cannot help it. Because this is going to happen. This is going down anyway. Regardless if you're watching or not. Okay. This is going down. 
because I'm sick of these daggone pencils being here, sitting here at my fingertips, and I can't get to them because I don't know what colors they are, and I don't feel like searching through the, the whole 180 pencils to find something with a particular name, okay? And some of these are so dark, I can't tell until I actually look at the color of them. Okay, so these are the greens that I see so far. And it might be some more, but like I said, but they, I can't see them. I'm just looking at the tips. Okay. And you are green. Okay, so I'm going to put you, you look like you are green too. Just looking at you. Olive green. So those are the greens I got so far that I can easily identify what colors we want next. Let's go for yellow. Okay. Yellow. All right. So this sounds like a little ASMR. Some people like the noise, some people don't. I can't help it. Yellow. Yellow. What is you yellow? Mango. You orange. Oh, you could put yeah, I could have put orange. You could put two colors together if you want to. You can do whatever you want. That's a green. Here's a green. You here's a green. Okay, well, I'm supposed to be looking for yellows. Passion. Girl, you look green to me. Passion, the color of money, green. Okay, so this is is this all the yellows? I know not. Yellow, pastel, yellow. See, you got a whole bunch in here that's already called pastel. Um, and this is a green. Um, Black Widow. Okay. It seemed like it was more yellows. Uh, I'm gonna put cream in there with yellow. I'm gonna throw mango in yellow too. And I don't know what these colors are, but they're going in there because they light enough to be a yellow. I'm putting all the yellow. All the suspect colors is passing. Okay. Here's a white. That's passing. Okay. Because they all light enough to look like they're all part of the same antler. I'm putting you in green just because of your name. So, yeah, and you look green. So far, we can see the yellows and the green. What is you? What are you? Mustard? Oh, mustard! <laughs> Some of y'all don't get that and don't even worry. So let's do, um, we might do purple and red. We might not have to have all these buckets. So here's purple. Here's, we're going to put purple and red together. Um, because it seems like it's easier. Some of these reds look like burgundies and child. We're not breaking it down like that. We're just trying to. Get a handle on it. And then it looks like some of these pinks. Then we're just going to get all of these together and break them down later. Okay. It is really not that serious. And they'll, they will be found. Mm -hmm, so... This is not rocket science. Okay, so we gonna put you in this bucket. <clears throat> we're gonna go blue. There's a pur purple, blue, blue. If I put these, oops, excuse me, I got to hit that. All the same way. Oh, so there's a purple. Yeah, this is better than putting them in the skin tone sets. It's not like I'm putting them back. It's blue, blue, teal, any of those colors. They all can go the same, the same bucket. Here's a purple. Suspect purple. What color are you? Midnight. Okay, we're not talking about you right now. Dark night. 
That's a black, black, blackity black. Here's a blue moon. Something that looks green. Where's the green? Green's right there. See how it's getting smaller? This is like playing a damn board game, isn't it? Okay, so this is the blue. Where's the red? Some of these reds is looking like orange. You look purplish. Uh, where's the red? Oh, I don't have a red bucket. Then I just use my little Dollar Tree bin. See there. Hey Kim, how you doing? Hey Sue Russell, lurking but work. 180 pencils. That is uh, uh, that is a lot to organize. I know. Well, you know, I just did the 180. But the 180, they were all the same pencil brand. But this, did you want to come up, Kim? I got, here's the link. I'm not doing anything major, just uh, sitting here. Where's the link at? Here's the link if you want to come up. If, if you don't, it's okay, I understand. I'm just sitting here trying to put these two together, put these sets together. So these are like six sets, I mean, uh, seven sets. And um, some of these, I'm going to have to read them. Cardboard. Okay, let's just get the browns out the way because it seemed like the browns are trying to mess with me. I didn't know there was a color card cardboard. Did y'all know there was a color card cardboard? So I'm going to get the browns together. Brown bugs. So yeah, so the browns, child, y'all. Y'all dark skin colors gonna get together. Okay. Well, why does she sound so funny when she say it like that? You know? Chocolate, chocotone. Coca tone, chocotone, dark chocolate. I love a little chocolates. Hmm. Um mud. Oh yeah. They have some backlash because they was calling some of these. Is this a skin tone, dark skin tone? Yeah, dark skin tone. Now, why are you going to see right there? That's why a lot of people was mad at the day gone um, people that made these skin tone colors. The one of them was negra, but see, negra means black. So we can kind of give a pass on that. But then you're going to have a skin tone called mud. Like, really? Girl, no, ma'am. Oh, child, people was pissed about that i mean you could have named it something different it just didn't seem like you know so people are sensitive but that's something you could be sensitive about because that does i've never even heard described anybody that was black or melanated as mud the color of mud like really let me not make this an issue <laughs> now that's making it an issue <laughs> oh lord yeah, people, people, people talked about that. They sure did. <clears throat> okay, let's do the oranges or the corals. Mm -hmm. Oranges or the coral. What time is it? It's twelve thirty-six. Okay, I got to like one fifteen. I already ate my lunch. And I did my laundry. I still got to fold them up. And I said I wanted to organize it. If I do these, this will be great. See, now, then I could do some color alongs because I do like, when I color along, I do like, you know, I'm sorry you got all ate up. And what are you? You are blue. Let me get you together so we can at least see you. Oh, you broke all the way. You must have fell on the floor. Okay, so this is blue. That's the blue. These are the corals. And then what we got? Your green. Green. Some of these are so dark. Like I said, you got to um, see what the name is. Mahogany. You brown. Midnight. 
Uh, I'm gonna put the mid the browns and the midnight together. Brown. Dark night. Cold. That better not be a skin tone color. I'd be really mad. You got coal and mud. Like, that's not right. They come up with all these other cute names for pencils. Let me calm down. Stink bug. What the hell color is stink bug? I don't know, but it's a cute little name. Now, I like stink bug. Little stink bug. Come here, little stinky bug. Losing my mind. <laughs> Leather. Child, some of these names. What is this? Dungeon. I'm going to assume that that's a dark color. Okay, that's a blue. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because, girl. Navy blue. Yeah, most of these dark ones are blue. Charcoal green. Okay. Charcoal green. I'm gonna put that with the black and the and the uh, browns. Charcoal. And that's not skin tone color, y'all. Oh, I didn't mention it. Oh, I just put. Where are you at? I just put you in the wrong bucket. What was your name? Okay, I'll find you. I put something with the green in the, in the blue bucket. Jeez. Saber and Wizard. What the hell color what the hell colors are those? Here's Kim. Hey Kim. Hi, hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Hey Bubbles. How y'all doing? You're certain, You're huh? Certain, huh? Ooh. Yeah, because you know there's an echo. Oh, hold on, let me hold on, let me take this thing. Okay, is it still there? Um, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that does it. Um, because I'm on my mic. I forget when I have my mic on. Not my headset. I I can, I have to put the echo cancellation on. Yeah, cause uh, these colors like the the black. Uh oh, it fell on the floor. Uh oh. The black widow. You can never figure out which ones you need. You know, and they're not in, in the and they're not in the right order, and it's just crazy because they all look different. You know. Miss so Southern Bell you says you crack her up. Hey, Miss Southern Belle, I saw you at that thrift store. Oh, girl, that the, the 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 first of all, you was at the damn um, what's the store? Five and below, of which I like. Now I don't mess with none of the electronic stuff, just like the Dollar Tree. I don't mess with none of the electronics, set the headsets, charger, all that stuff. I skip right on by that. But you was in a thrift store, or whatever, and you got. Uh, that book, that one book you got, I don't know how much you you paid for it. Hold on, let me see. That is the good book, the one that structures. Hold on, where I I don't have that one, but I have one like it. I think there's a series. Oh, it would be the last book on this thing on shelf. You got the um. You got this one, not this one, but you got the one in the series. Now this this book and that one, that whole this whole thing by um Steve McDonald is a good book. Now I have um I did watercolor in this book. I'm going to get that one too that you got, but I got this one I got at uh, Barnes and What did I get this one at? Um I got this one at uh Barnes and Nobles for $8. So I really like the structure stuff. And I think they got one cities and I don't know which one it is, the one that you got, but you'll have a good time in here coloring it. Now, when I first got it, you see all these little books. I started coloring the little books. To say, now, why? Kim, was you remember when I was coloring these little books in this damn book? I do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Miss Queenie Boo. How you yeah. doing? <laughs> yeah. So I I'm like, oh, she's going to be there for another year. Right. I haven't finished it, but I did a lot of them. It was like busy work. So, but this is a good, first of all, I love this book because it's of the size. Now, these are some Mandela's that are in here. Uh, but I was basically just using watercolors. But I love this. This is a good um, series. Um, I think they have uh, four or four or five. But I know that one that you had, I didn't even know that. I knew about another one. And then one of my favorite colors is coloring in some. It might be the book that you got. So, yeah. So this is a really good book. If you like doing stuff like this, it's called Fantastic. It's called a coloring book of amazing buildings and real in, and but they have a whole bunch of other things too. This one is just the buildings. This book is normally 15 uh 15 bucks, and I got it from um Barnes and Nobles for eight. I saw Amazon has the other one, uh, the one that you have, they have it for um I think ten dollars. So uh, one day I'm going to get a little extra. I might get it, but well, I need to do more in that one. Do one more in that one. Then I can justify buying another one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Miss Queenie, how you doing? <clears throat> Girl, Miss Queen, I had to, well, I said I wasn't going to come back over there until, uh, March. Um, all my stuff is going to be going down coming up soon and I'm not going to talk about it, but, um, girl, do you know, they over there talking about stuff, bringing stuff up. Why are they talking about me in that, in them back chats or whatever? Girl, I was so mad, but we're not going to talk about it. I had to, I had to put a little message on my community board. Cause I was like, I'm over here chilling, not even bothering nobody. And why are they over there with that fool? la la? Anyway, let me keep, keep it moving. Okay, so these are pinks. We're going to put these pinks with the red. Hi, Miss Queenie. How are you? Um, Look around at the Goodwill. Uh, where, oh, girl, every time I, I go to a used art store, oh, my God, I find so much. <laughs> your pocket, I do. I really your pocket, ball, pocket, never mind, gets smaller anyways, right? Yes, yes. And so I have to justify um, using what I got. And so I'm good. I just thought it was amazing that you found that book where you were. Yeah. So you did good by picking that one up. I hope that you do color in it. It's um, okay, this pencil. Okay, this is a goal. It is, um, it's fun once you get into it. It might look intimidating, but once you start uh, start it, you'll like it. Huntsman, I believe this is a green. No, I lied, it's a brown. So what book are you coloring in? Is that a Nagusi book? Nope, this is um, an eerie book. Romantic Country Second Tale. Oh yeah, that's on my list too. Miss Queen is that girl. I know I saw the message. You nipped it in the bud. No need to bring that foolishness in this. Exactly. But you know, you see how the people be doing me. I don't need, I ain't even, and I only happen to be over there because, you know, I just opened up my channel again. I don't have any videos up on there. But I just happened to, you know, just like everybody else while I was in between stuff, listening and stuff. And then they was like, and that's a, and a view and a view. And she stopped what? It's like, listen here, little ratchet ass bitch. Don't get me started. Okay. Because mm -hmm. the music is on too. I never liked her anyway. But we're not going to, like you said, we're not bringing that ratchet stuff over here. But the nerve of her over there with all that foolishness. And I'm not even on there. You know, and I hate people saying my name that don't even know me. Like, I don't even know you, lady, with your messy ass. <laughs> Let me calm down. Oh, you gonna I miss I miss that part of you. <laughs> I know people want to, but see, my blood pressure is calm. I got bigger issues to deal with right now, <clears throat> and no, just I just don't want to little, bring it out. Yep, just that little bit mm -hmm. is good. We don't we don't need no just more. Just that little bit. Good. Right, that's it. That was a little taste. 
a little taste. And I started to type in there, bitch, don't make me have to come back, okay? Don't make me have to come back and be like I was on here. Don't don't make me get up. Right. <laughs> right. Don't make me get up. Oh Lord. I was so and then the thing is, I I, I don't be bothering nobody. And why is she mentioning me like of all people? Girl, you are not worthy enough to say my damn name. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Kim said, I mean, Queenie said, yeah. Yeah, let me just be quiet. Yeah, because I'm living, trying to be right. <laughs> but you know what? I wouldn't have seen it. Touch nobody, that one. Yeah, nobody would have told me. You know, and see, I don't need to be over there. I need to be calm. And what is wizard? The color is wizard. That's a green. Um, you're doing, <clears throat> excuse me. You're doing the um, Black Widows. The, the names are so whack that, yeah, mm -hmm. you're not going to. It's hard to tell. <laughs> like wizard. Now, I would I would say either wizard would be purplish, blackish. Or I wouldn't even say green, but it's a green color. <laughs> yep. So I like I the one. You, I like the one you just said. I can't remember what you said though. Um, oh, I know. I love the names. Okay, here's the yep. blue. So now, so now I've gotten down to where I really can't identify these. So I'm going to pull out all the ones that that say skin color, whether it's light or dark, and put those with the um the browns because it's color it's not um like purple or red okay so and that'll be easy so if i have a skin tone one that i need to find on the sheet i'll know that they're automatically over there um and some of these i can tell the name what color they are like brown fog and that does not look like brown that this is like a whitish color but we okay i'm putting that with the yellow Girl, <laughs> poison, poison is, girl, I'm putting that with the yellow. Like, yeah, like you said, they're crazy names. Yeah. You did a, a fairy two-tone. Oh, you did? Oh, my goodness. Right, and to Miss Southern Bell. Tell her, and the, and the woman is ugly, Miss Southern Bell. And it's like, you know what? I don't want any ugly people talking about me. Okay, from this day forth, if you are ugly as hell, you cannot talk about me. I only want bad bitches talking about me. <laughs> you have to be at least an eight. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you. I guess I gotta go. <laughs> like mm, I, i'm go. only i'm only about a four so yeah i guess i gotta go <laughs> well no i they called me uh, the guy one guy that one old and let me hold on let, okay miss queenie bring me back in let me calm down let me forget all that because now i'm getting a headache okay we're not, so, we not going to um once you get all these sorted what are you going to do with them then i'm going to <clears throat> okay then i'm going to swatch them Okay, I'm going to swatch them in order. I'm going to put them in the case. I will be putting my number tags on them. Oh. I will be writing the numbers down here, one through, and I can start that. So one, two, yeah, all the way down to 180. Yeah, that's going to make it a lot easier to. Uh-huh. Yeah, good. And let me show you. I got this video that I think is ready. Let me see. Is it ready? Oh, I can't do that. Hold on. Um, where I did the brute fun brute. I was going to call it brute fungus. <laughs> <laughs> the butt, the butt busters. 
The butt busters, the butt pluggers, the butt, yep. the brute funders. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know where I did. Well, yeah. Who comes up with the names of these things? You know, they I don't want know. Us, they want us to buy them and stuff, but, and it's cool. I love buying them, but hell, I ain't going to be able to like, Tell people to buy them because I can't pronounce the name of them. Mm -mm. Can't pronounce the name, and then also they're not overstock. Right. Yep. Oh, thank you, Miss Southerbell. I've been listening to you in the morning too, girl. I've been getting my life. Okay, listen. Okay, let me show you how I'm going to be doing it. Hold on. Is it present the whole screen? I don't want to share the screen. Hold on, let me see if I, I just want to add another box. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so this share screen. Okay, so well, I'm sorry, What? Uh, oh, so the Eerie book. Have you colored anything out of that book already? No, I don't think so. I think this is the one that I haven't gotten anything. That's, I pulled a bunch of them out and um, because I have never colored in them. And I've had them for like ever. And yeah, that's just, that's ridiculous. So um, I got this one. Gosh, back Girl, in 21. That book is on my list. You ain't, and you ain't coloring that one. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. That, so you, that book is on my list, and you had not colored in it yet? <laughs> no, I haven't, but I'm working on it now. Well, you know, a lot of people have colored in that one. That one, and I think that same uh, uh, artist has a new book out. Yeah, I want, uh, you can't find the third tale. I would love to have that, but you can't find it anywhere. What's the and, third uh, tale? Um, it's just the the romantic country third tale. Like there's oh. book one, book two, this is book two, and then that would be oh. book three. Oh, I thought so. I thought yeah. so. Yeah, and I want to get one of them, but I, I, okay, yeah, and I got it on my list. I didn't know which one to get. So why did you get two? Um, I got this. I was getting the series, actually, Um, but... By the time I got to three, it was already gone. <laughs> oh, um, okay. So I'm going to show you book one. Um, the one when I got them, they were really popular. That the everybody coloring them has slowed down quite a bit. Um, here's book one. Yes. So, I remember that one. Yep. Um, it's cute. I colored. It's a. I think it's a two-page spread, but I colored this. Oh, okay. And I think it goes over into that, but I'm not positive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of looks like it does. And then, um. Oops. Oh, I don't on. know. To be honest, I don't know if any of, if you like this. Hold on. I just didn't, hold on. I didn't flip the screen up. Okay, go ahead. I don't know if you would like this. I don't know if it's like your style. Um, yeah, you know, it looks like um, Maria Trollis kind of combination but better but bigger right it is it's bigger and it's not quite as detailed um, right less lines yep now this is one which i really like one i did this one mm -hmm. and it went over into that um so I really like one. Um, 
Miss Southern Belle? I would if I could find it. Um, that's the problem. I can't find it. Um, can, my husband's going to kick my ass this one month anyways. <laughs> I went on, I've been wanting one of those Hatchet Hero books. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I've been wanting one of those Hatchet Hero books, and they're like 30, 40 bucks. Um, so I bit the bullet because I mean, I've been wanting one for a couple of years now. So I bit the bullet and bought me one. And it was like, by the time taxes and everything, it was a $40 book. What so, book? He's going to freak out. What, what book? It's a Disney hatchet heroes. It's a, like a color by number book. Oh yeah. That's what I was looking for. Color by number. Now you all with these color by numbers, girl. Hold on. Look at this color by number. I have not colored in it. Hold on. Let me see if I could look at this thing. Yeah, those are huge. Y'all talking about color by numbers? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I got the one with the giraffe on it. I know you do. I know y'all not talking about like color by numbers. <laughs> yeah. This, like, this one. Uh huh. Hold on. Let me make it. It doesn't matter how big you make it, it's never going <laughs> to. Oh, Lord. The thing is huge. <laughs> now, I do have like two color by number books. I have never. No, I've got like four. Now, the last one I got because somebody wanted to do a color along with me. And this one is reasonable. Um, it's this one. Hold on. Because, and I got this one at for $7 at Barnes & Noble. This one is reasonable because... Which one is that? This one is beautiful color by numbers. Oh, a, okay. That's pretty. I like that. Uh-huh. And then this was the page that I, that I was doing. I haven't finished it, but. And oh, I goodness. like it because it's got the color thing here on the edge of the book. If you want it. And you know you don't yes. have to use these colors. Yeah. And I like this because you can flip it to the page that you're using. Yep. So. I had, uh, yeah, so I had started this one two years ago. <laughs> this is as far as I got. But I do like this book. I will never give it away. I will. Yeah, I got it for seven bucks at uh, Barnes and Nobles. Yeah, and Barnes and Noble has some good ones. Yeah, I always go to that annex section that they have. And then I got this one like five years ago. And the only one that I did on this one, and it's not finished is this right here. Now, my stupid ass didn't know that this was a dark version and a light version of the same picture. I was looking on here trying to see how to color that because I wanted to find one that was colored. And so I see this one. So I found that one. And so, yeah. But this is not even finished. This five years, color by number, five years. None. The rest of the book is not colored. <laughs> I have to get with the color by number thing. I do like them. They're nice to do when, you know, um, you're not feeling good or you're like in the living room sitting on your sofa and all you want to do is just put some color to paper um, and you're, you know, in the midst of watching a show or something. You know, they're just, they're mindless. You know, you can just get it done and not have to worry about it you know and miss blue skies gave me a really cute color by number and i did finish a page in this book this is a uh, brain games color by number i finished one and i started one um uh, i started this one which i really like and i had fun doing this one i think this one i took to the hospital with me one time so right. this was easy you know you had the little colors things down there and then the one I, I started, I mean, I finished on camera was this one. 
So oh, they pretty. are really. Thank you. And they have the little number. Some people don't like those numbers, but I, these are small enough that they don't bother me. And I did that one because it was in the on the cover. So thank you for reminding me, Miss, Miss Southern Bell. I'm going to pull this one out. So when I, I need this one, Blue Skies gave that one to me. I got so, um, I got a bunch of them, but I think my favorite ones are um, I've got some Disney ones, and then uh, George Tufexis with Coloring Heaven. I don't, I don't know who that is. Um, who is it's, that? It's uh, hold on, I'll get one of his books. Oh, okay. I was gonna show um uh, show. What I'm doing with these pencils. Oh, while you're doing that, I'm gonna show what I'm doing with these pencils here. Hold on, let me see. Can I do it like this? So what I'm doing. Is. Putting them, uh, putting some numbers in there. So this was 120 pencils. The blue front is 120. And so I um, put the numbers, I put down the numbers inside of the case. Is that you, Kim? Um, uh, yeah, I'm here. What? Is what me? Okay, because I, I wanted to make sure that wasn't the video because I put music over it. I was like, oh, I can't. So I put down the numbers of this one. This video is getting ready to upload. So yeah, so I put down, put them all in there, and then let me fast forward to the end. Hold on. It just makes it so much easier. To yeah, you did that find with your, your pencils uh, and to put Christmas, your pencils. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I did it with my Prisma, I did it with my Brute Funder. So that's what I'm doing with the with uh, these, and this is 180. So yeah, it just makes it so much easier. It really does. Hold on, let me take that out. Okay. Hi, Blue Sky. Okay. So what book is that? Hmm? Okay, this is George Tufexis, Coloring Haven, Country Scenes. His are extremely detailed. Oh Lord. Yeah, they um, are. Yeah. I love them though. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, they that's that's um is that Creative Haven? Yes. I okay, love yeah. all his all his books. I thought this was the one I did a bunch of them in, but it's not. I'll have to I started one in here. Oh, yep, I started two in here. <laughs> Got a couple whips I didn't even think about. Yeah, but it's, it's see, it's beautiful scenes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they are. Yep. Um, and and even even though they have the numbers on there, you skip. You can still do it without the numbers, but like, really, what's the point? <laughs> oh, yeah, they put all those beautiful numbers in there. And you like a lot of nature stuff, so yeah. This um, is somewhat, yeah, I do. I, you know what? I realize I don't like it as much as I di uh, did. I like, <laughs> I, you know, I still like the raw animals and the dress. I mean, uh. Uh, dinosaurs and <laughs> gothic creatures, but um, I do have some of those creative havens with the nature scenes and stuff like that. But you know, I don't color on them anymore. Like I love Teresa Goodrich and stuff, but I'm I don't you know it's that damn paper. I hate that paper. The new ones that are coming out, they got a different mm. paper. They got a little bit more oh. tooth. Well, about time. <laughs> Because Miss Southern, yep. Southern Bell, I have seen those. Um, I've been a little kind of scared to try one, though. Um, she said she got the 300 pencils that you showed. 
Um, she said she got the reverse coloring book. Hey, Southern Belle, I mean, Blue Skies. Oh, she, I've seen that reverse coloring book. Yep. And then, but the reverse coloring book, Blue Skies, is they have all the, they'll have like a page full of, like somebody took a cup, couple of paints and just threw them down on the damn table and put them in and then rolled the book and made the press of the, so it's got all these different colors everywhere, like a watercolor accident. And then they got a whole book full of pages like that. And then what you do is you go in and you draw something inside of the colors. Isn't that what you do? Um, I think so. Yeah. So you're making the picture. So instead of you coloring the picture, you're co you're drawing the picture instead of coloring the picture. It's really a, a very creative ideal. Oh, wait, she just said Miss Southern Belden answered her. You got gnome, sweet gnomes? Yeah. I was I doing a book. color along. Yeah. Um, I was doing a color along with uh, Ryan, Ryan Colors in that one. Here it is. Gnome, sweet gnomes. Creative Haven. But that, well, everything I want is at the bottom. I come in oh. here and disturbed your your video you were doing your pencils oh no 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 no! all i was doing was showing you what i was getting ready to do oh no i'm not gonna be sitting here on this camera doing that mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh, I, I, I had already planned to just you know so this one is the known sweet number the thing i like about creative haven is one the price this is 6.99 like you can't beat that um i think this was the page i was doing a color line with ryan and of course ryan's looks so good and then he had another one in here with the little gnome sleeping in the bed yeah this is a fun it's a fun little book but i um yeah you know what i need to do i need to try basting this page you know how i base my other pages and mm -hmm. maybe see if i like it better but this paper in this one is not as bad as the Teresa goodwitch Teresa Goodrich page. This this is not bad. The Teresa Goodrich pages are different. Did you know? Yeah, that? yeah. I think it is. I think it's that way with all the artists. Um, their their books are just. It almost seems like they're made different. Um, yeah, and so Teresa's are just like newspaper. And then she got that double line on there, and it's like, is that? Did she mean it like that, or did it misprint? And a lot of people don't like it, but I, I like it. I really do. But, um, yeah, I just wish hers was on better paper. But, yeah, I st I've got, oh, I probably got about 15 of those books because they're so inexpensive. You Sometimes you can get them for $4. Yeah. But they're, yeah. they're normally 7 bucks. Um, Oh, Blue Skies. Oh, you have the gnomes few. I'm like, oh, I, I gifted, I did, I gifted you a nose book. Oh, yeah, because I had bought a couple of them. They're just really nice, good coloring books, nice wholesome coloring books, and like uh, kids can color in them. You know, adults can. And then if something happens, you know, if you want to tear the page out, you know, it's not like you spent fifteen, twenty, thirty bucks for it. You know, right. Now, I got this book. Now, there's a television show, and I have not seen it. Um, I saw this book on the YouTube. I saw some people coloring in it, and it just looks so nice. So, But there's a TV show, Netflix, Netflix, and um, Bennington, Bridgerton, Bridgerton, Bridgerton. I don't know. Bridgerton. Yeah. But... Um, I want to color in this one, but I have, well, now I can because I've actually finished maybe 15 whips. <laughs> so. Bye, Miss Southern Bell. Have a good Bye, day. Ms. Be Southern careful. Bell. You watched that show, Blue Skies? I didn't see it. And so I was on, Google. yesterday I was on um, on YouTube. <laughs> uh, and then I was trying to see if they had the show, if they had the episodes of it. And this one guy, this picture right here, he looks just like that, too. So anyway, uh, Shalonda Land, she's the one that did, um, did she do Scandal? I think she did Scandal or something. Yeah, so she's really a good, um, uh, whatever, producer. 
So right. yeah, so I got this and I love the paper. It's thick. Um, it's got facial features. They're not exact, but um, I wanted to start this one. I wanted to do this page. Where's all these? This one right here. I saw somebody oh, do a color crazy. along with it. Yeah, I think it was either Emily Colors or I don't know. One of the ladies that I look at, y'all know I look about look at about 15 people that color on here. But yeah. So uh, this was the first page I want to do, or uh, at least do a couple of them. But yeah, so this one is sitting here, and I said the only way I can color in this book is if I color um at least 20 whips. And I've up to 15. I have a tab on here saying that I wanted to color this double page first. I have no idea why. But look at this. Look at oh, this is the first page I really wanted to color. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I don't know. I had to put that to the side. <clears throat> I think it'll look pretty. Yeah, <clears throat> see, I have to decide on what the colors. I got to decide on um what um what I want to use. So yeah, so I said once I get all these pencils organized, then I can do stuff better. But these have been like a thorn in my side. The, these black, these uh black widows. Oops, seventeen. I can't count. You can't count. No, because I wrote Isn't 16. That's your profession. <laughs> it, right. Duh. I wrote 16, 18, 17. Mm -hmm. Yes, we get to pick on her when she says that stuff. 24. Don't yes. be me. <laughs> yeah. So um, it does make it so much easier when you're putting these things away and you can keep track of if you're missing anything pencil right away and where were you using it at right you know yeah like i i just i got all these pencils setting out i'll just put them with like the reds with the reds the blues with the blues i won't put them in any certain order and yeah that gets to be a pain in the butt sometimes mm-hmm But you're better than I am because there is no way. I don't have the patience to do what you're doing. Um, well, you just have to suck it up and do it. Like, I don't like doing this. But I know how I want them to be. So is nobody going to come over here and do this shit for me? So <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to do it myself. Could you imagine hiring somebody? Could you come sort my colored pencils for me, please? Right. And it can be kind of relaxing, I guess. Um, I think they'd think we were nuts. But right now it hurts because of my arthritis in my hand. So it's like I can't even form my letters. Like if I had to write somebody a letter right now, they'll probably be like, who wrote that? A two-year-old? I can't cursey print. It's weird. Tell them, no, it wasn't a two-year-old that you have graduated. You're five now. Mm-hmm. 72, mm -hmm. 73. But, yeah, so after I finish this set, then everything else will be pretty much organized like I like. Um, and then I've gifted a lot of stuff away, so I don't have to worry about having stuff that I don't use. I'm waiting for you to do it with the 300. I already did it. You did? You taped all those and did that? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, they I don't have enough go. stickers. No, I've got to buy some more stickers. These are all the stickers I have left of all of them that I that I did so far. So I just have these left. I got these at CVS, and I was actually looking for them on Amazon. But it was just as easy to get them at CVS because I used my extra care book. So I basically got them for free. Right. Does but the I don't Dollar know. Tree have them? Um, they have something different. 
Mm -hmm. they, okay. they got the circles or something. And I can still use those too, but these had more in it. It had like 500 or something like that. And I've had these for a, a year or two. Hey, I did clean but, my art room and put everything away the other day. Oh, that's good. I know. It looks like it looks snazzy. Looks like somebody that you know knows what they're doing lives here. <laughs> but I still put tape on these because you can put these things on your pencils and then and they'll it'll come off and then you'll have a whole pencil case full of green uh, stickers that you don't know where they go to. All right. So I'll put uh, tape on. I had bought the circles. The circles work okay, but the circles didn't come in a big enough pack. And I, every time I go into Michael's, I never see I never see them in there. I know they have them, but then I start looking at everything else, and then I forget. I'll be right. Back. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to do, at least get started with these. Oh, I put, I went from 121 to 222. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Now I feel like I can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. I'm sorry, I had to let the little pony in. Oh, was he crying? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Mom, you're doing something without me. Well, at least you can, un can hear him. Oh, he's he's very vocal lately. <laughs> the older he gets, the more vocal he gets. And Pam, he's huge. Yeah, that kind of dog would be getting big. Yeah. Did did I show you what uh, Blue Skies gave me? Mm, I don't think so. I got my watercolors in a different case, and I just moved everything to. I put all my watercolors together. She gave me a she gave me the watercolor set that you got. Oh, how do you like it? I like it because I told you I like that one that you have because all the colors are together. <clears throat> yeah, but have you used the paints? How do you like them? I haven't used them yet. I swatched them, <clears throat> but I'm going to pull them out because I'm going to use them. No, I didn't swatch the whole things. I don't tend to really swatch my watercolors um, because they just kind of like, like I've never, I did the intense and I did uh, another watercolor, but the graphitins or whatever, because they're pencils, but watercolors, I don't tend to, because I, I did and it's like, I can't really tell how I like them or not because you can lighten them and darken them. That's why people have them, you know, so I haven't, you know why I, I don't do, I haven't done it is because when you swatch watercolors on regular paper, you don't see the full beauty of the color. You got to use watercolor paper. Right. That's Bye, why. Blue I skies. Have a good day. My blue sky. Okay. You got to meet. Oh, you have gobble gore. Not know some people. Yeah. Gobble gore. Yeah. I gave you that one. Yeah. I, I was like, look, look, blue skies. I was like, which, which notebook did I give her? I must have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing Blue Sky because I love my Creative Haven books. I was like, did I give her a new Creative Haven book? No, I'm I'm teasing. Yeah, that um, that's the that's the book we got from Ollie's. Yeah, yeah, that's I like the, that book. Yeah, and it's got the trolls in it. Those are trolls. Uh huh. Those those are not known. Those are trolls. So yeah, so um, I was waiting until I got watercolor paper to really swatch my watercolors. So yeah, okay. so this this is the set that I got, and I was actually thinking about taking them out of here and putting them in here, 
and I because I went ahead and I ordered some pans. Oh, okay. I ordered half pans because I wanted to see if this would fit. And I took out what time is it? Okay, one, yeah. I took out um and these and this one, these half pans have the magnetic thing on the back. So, oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, so I was able to get out two colors. I was able to get out. Oh, I think I stuck them. Okay, I was able to get these out, but I won't take them out of here. I'll, I'll keep these in here because you just need to put a piece of glue if you take them out. But these two, hold on. I was going to say, do they? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my they come out. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I did that already. <laughs> you freaked me out. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> no, because they don't have a color number, a name or anything, so it's okay. Right. So, right. and they fit right in here. Oh, so, what okay. I'll do is, yeah, I'll t I'll put with my hot glue gun, put one drop of hot glue here, and then or put it right there, and then stick it in there. That's right. how they do it. Now, will it fit back in the package? I don't want to put it back in the package. Oh, okay. I didn't That's know what you. What are you going to do with the small little pans? Uh, I'm going to put them in. Um, I'm going to put them in a tin. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I was going to put them in like one of these. Well, not this one. This is my Graffitin can. Uh, God forbid I use this one. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the cans I'm really protective of. So no, I wasn't going to put them in this one, though. But right. I was going to put the magnetic things down and then uh, put them in color number order. Oh, absolutely. That would be really cool. You know, and then put them in there like that. Yep. Not this can. But no. It, I, yeah, yeah, not this one. This one is my, uh-uh, no ma'am. Because <laughs> I still use that. But I got a ton, tons of them. So that's what I was going to do with them. Because remember I told you I didn't, the only, I like the colors that you got, but I did not like the, um, this thing. The packaging. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know how you come up with such good ideas. Well, um, a lot of well, I'm not the only one. I've, but I guess because you know, I don't know. It's just how you like, you know. It's just how you like things. I guess I don't know. I haven't seen anybody do this, but I'm sure somebody has. You know, ain't nothing new here on the YouTube. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean. Yeah. You know, that's that's an organization thing that, you know, I don't know how you thought of that. That's like a good idea. That's a that's like awesome. Um, mm -hmm. But I would have never thought to do that. Yeah. Well, one also because you saw how that they came out. I didn't take all of them out. I only took like three out. So you're going to make them a, like if it actually falls, then they all are going to fall out, you know? Yeah. Yep. Somebody knocks it over or. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now yeah, these white ones. That. Yeah. These white ones won't fall out because I had to really pry to get those out. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a tin that I'm going to sacrifice. I did have one. I actually had the black widow tin, but it has to be big enough. To hold all of those pink, but I could make them separate because some are metallic. Yep, you could. Mm hmm. Uh, but then I could use something big like this to get all of them in there. I already picked the case out, I don't even know where the heck it is. Well, I'm gonna still take these out because this. This would be something that I can work on also while I'm organizing. But yeah, these took a minute to get out only because they do have a little bit of glue at the bottom. Right. And so I used a little uh little knifey thingy. How you yeah. oh 
I have a good one. Okay, she oh she already said that. Okay. Um so yeah. Yeah, I like organization and, and that's just like really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I never and, thought about doing that. Yeah, and those were like um six dollars. And I like it because it's got the magnetic thing on the back. Right. <clears throat> so when you do put it in the tin, you don't have to worry about them coming out. Mm-hmm. Now and I that's could open and sliding all over the place. Uh-huh. I could leave cut this part out and then leave these like that because since they are already in there tight. Right. But it won't look as neat. But I could do that. Now that's an option, and I might actually do that. Oh, I feel bad. I'm over here taking away something somebody, somebody gave me. I'm ripping it up, but I know she understands. <laughs> well, you're not ripping the actual thing up. You're just ripping the package up. Mm-hmm. Um, to make... Yeah, and then I could just cut this out and then probably put this on the top of whatever it is, because this these are not coming out. I had to really pry this out to get it out. So, And it's still got sticky on it. So I worry about that later. It's but, too bad they don't have an actual like lid for those. Yeah, remember when you got yours? Yeah, remember when you got yours? I said I like it, except for they they didn't do right by the container. Nope. But I love the colors. Oh my god, I love the colors, especially these bright colors. I may swatch them. After I get, because now I got watercolor palette. I got a watercolor thing. I probably will do it in my sketchbook. I'll, so, do my, I'll watch my watercolors in my watercolor sketchbook instead of using it in my swatch book. Hmm. I can't do it this month, but I'm going to do it next month. Um, Walmart has a set of iridescent acrylic paints. Oh iridescent those are going to be like really cool looking yeah i like those well, it's 30 39.99 or something oh what brand is it um i don't know oh for 39.99 it should be a name brand because that's a little bit a lot that's a lot yeah it's like 24 of them mm, okay and I think it's like 13 ounce bottles. Oh, okay. You're getting bottles. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I, well, I think. Don't quote me on it. I, um, I'd um, i have to get my phone and look, but yeah, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Because you're getting into the high price watercolors like that. And if you're getting to the high price ones, you might want to make sure you get a good name brand. Well, I just thought it was really cool that they were iridescent. Well, a lot of them are iridescent now. But you got to be careful because some of the iridescent, you, it um, it's the way that they make them with the fillers or something. And they look good. But then uh, a little bit later, they change. I forgot what they said. They do something, the consistency. I, but I don't know. I, I'm not an expert on it. I just remember seeing something about it and then just kind of move. You know how you just be skimming stuff? I was like, oh, really? Okay. Yep. So oh, just be to careful. Some research on it. Thank yeah. You. Or if you want to ask me to, I can research it for you. Because you might want to get those from a, a art store and you can get them a better quality and also get them cheaper or on sale too. Yeah, if you hear anything about them, yeah, let me know. Yeah, because you don't really need a whole lot of iridescent colors, watercolor. Are you, well, you know, let me not tell you what you need, but if you get a, well, depend on what you're using them for, because you, you, most people don't color a whole page iridescent. Like usually the iridescent, you use it for a, for like a pop or something on one of your pages or something. Yep, yep. For, uh, what do they call that? bling it or yeah to make it bling yep yeah so you can might be able to buy something um like a because um for my blingage thing i got and i got that ideal from somebody and then i saw bubbles had something i was trying to buy something that she had um but i couldn't find it so i ended up getting 
Here's 12 iridescent colors. This is Artisa. Um, and this is what they look like. It's 12 of them. And they, um, I think I got them on sale at Michael's for like, I don't know, 20. Well, I think they're like $35, but I got them on sale for like 25. It doesn't iridescent mean that they're like, I don't, I don't know. I was almost thinking see-through, but, um, uh-uh, iridescent means it's like, you see how this moves? Yeah. The shine. Okay. That's, this is iridescent. And see, it's got you on here, iridescent, 12 right. iridescent colors. So the iridescent are the ones that add the blingage. And you don't really need but 12, really. I was um, going to say, you, you can do that with the glitter stuff. Yeah, but it's just a little bit different. The glitter stuff is different than the watercolor, but the effect is the same if you want the blingage. You know, right. you just like do the buckles on the paint, painting that you color right. or something like that. Or even like a metallic. It's it's almost uh -huh. like a metallic. A metallic. Mm -hmm. So these right here, I had got, these were um, metallic, 24 metallic colors. Because I knew what I, and I didn't want, you don't need a whole lot. This is 24 of them. And actually, I took them out and put them in. I put them in this pencil case. And this is what they look like. And these were like, I think I got them for like $20. And they're already in the thing. Right. These last a long time. You don't have to. The tubes are different the tubes are the tubes i'm not trying to talk you out again no i think i'm glad you did because i think the set that i got that's got the metallics and stuff in it i think it's funny if it's just gonna look just like a metallic yeah and and and, and if you're doing it for your blingage or your coloring books usually people get these little small or you can even get those little homemade sets like they come in six but right. they're they're a little pricey but they're homemade and they really bling but you can get a good set of six or 12 uh, uh, metallic or blingage and, and be happy. And because right. they'll last a long time because you're not like you're coloring whole pages. So I think I know what you're looking for. And it might be something more like one of these. Um, and they last a long time because you don't use that much. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what I'm saying. It's To me, they look, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is terrible today. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. To me, they look um, metallic. They don't look any different than a metallic. Yeah, they um, really, right. Uh, and, and and so when I got these metallic, I was thinking I was getting iridescent. And I was like, oh, no, I don't have the wrong ones. And then when I got iridescent, I was like, well, damn it, these look the same as what I already got. So I didn't right. even really have to buy these. I, you know, but anyway, it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll just stick with what I got because, you know, like you said, I don't paint all that much. So to get yeah. something that, you know. And see this set right here that you got? This is the same thing. Yep. So now you can save 40 bucks. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's why when I saw this set, I was like, oh, that set is perfect because it's got the metallics. Or yep. my, husband, my husband's going to like you more than he already does. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, because if you're just using it for blingage, that's all you need. You Like, I would not color a whole page in this. This would just be way too much. Unless you was coloring fairy fantasy or, you know, that kind of stuff. But for like a gold, a copper buckle on, on an outfit or some highlights and some hair, these are perfect for it. And it's right. just enough. Uh-huh. These are like, girl, I wouldn't buy none, but do what you want to do. Go on to the Walmart and spend your 40 bucks. <laughs> nope. Next time I'm going to buy something, I'm just going to call you up and say, hey, should I or shouldn't I? Yeah. And then I don't know what brand that is. You might as well just spend like $25 and get a name brand one. But 40 oh, yeah. bucks, Walmart paint. I, I don't want to see nothing in there. Walmart selling nothing for 40 bucks this paint that I would buy. Mm -mm. I think I'll be... just uh, just wait. Let me grab my phone. I want to check and see what brand they are now. Now you got me curious. 
Yeah, I'm Hold curious that. too because I can't think of nothing. They Crayola, Crayolas, you can get Crayolas good over there at the Walmart <laughs> and the Target, but that's about it. Or a coloring book. I wouldn't buy any art supplies that I really want something good. Uh -uh. That's just me though. So if I was paying for it with my Walmart credit card or something like that, I if I had to get it from there, I would get it there. But I would just get it from the art store or something or Amazon or Michaels. Yeah. I'm more into the quality now. And if things can do dual purposes, see, like okay, this. Okay, let's see. This watercolor kit that I that you got, I thought was awesome because it has all of the colors and it has all of these iridescent things. That's the first thing I saw when I saw it. I was like, what? <laughs> and then when you were swatching it, I couldn't wait for you to get to that part. You started over in the other part. Okay, it's this. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me put you on the big screen. What brand is that? I can't see it. It says, um, I think it says U.S. Art. No, I wouldn't buy that shit. I mean, I'm sorry. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, U U.S. Art Supply Professionals. Uh-uh. Don't. I mean, not unless you. By binding with your Walmart card or something, I wouldn't get that large 75 milliliter. I think that's what that stands for. Um, L tubes 75. Let me see. This one right here is a point. Uh, is it a, this is a point two? Oh, this is eight milliliters. This is a watercolor. This is cotton. I got this as a sample for something. This this right here will last me forever. What the hell are you gonna do with seventy five milliliters? It says luminous, luminous, luminance, luminance, luminescent. Yeah, special effect, chameleon color shifting, pearl colors, artist canvas painting paper, wood and rock. Mm, that's for a whole classroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> This is eight mil, uh, eight milliliters, and that's 20, 75 milliliters. Each tube is seventy five, or is the whole container seventy five? Oh no, it said um, seventy five oh tube. So it looks like the two each tube. No, that whole thing must be seventy five. Cause this is, I don't know what it is. Let me be quiet. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. No, you got it. You got it with these twelve color set of iridescent acrylic paint large oh okay. um 75 milliliter tubes so each tube of must be 75 milliliter good gracious right hold on a minute um, no i wouldn't i i wouldn't but you do you I think you already got a good thing right here with what you got. Yeah, I don't think I need that much. Mm -mm. Yeah, see, they're $39.99. Mm -mm. I paid for this 24 one. I think I got it on sale for like $25. And then with the 12, I think I got it on sale for 20 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now they're acrylic paint 36 count that's in the tube it's just acrylic paint it's 17.99 for 36 of them yeah i don't even really like acrylic paint anymore i right. like um matte acrylic matte paint it has to be matte so i can color on top of it right so, but but acrylic paint is good if you'd like painting rocks or painting a book or you know, you can do more things with it. You can paint a canvas. You know, you don't have to. You can paint whatever. Acrylic paint is paint paint. Right. So I, I like the fact that you can do whatever. I have acrylic paint and then I have acrylic matte paint. So I've got both. I just got them in a the little 50 cent little thingy. So that's cool. We learned something today. 
don't buy the iridescent paints from Walmart. Because you already got you already got enough. That right? this whole thing, you won't even use that whole thing. And I think we paid less for that whole thing than we did than I would have of that. I don't remember yeah, how much that other one cost. I was like forty dollars. What the hell are you getting at? What are you getting from? I was thinking, no, I can see now. If it was at the, uh, it was Holbein at the art store. I'd be like, oh, okay, and that would be on sale because that that's uh, Holbein. Oh my god, that'd be like a hundred some dollars, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Holbein would like. Oh my God, <laughs> could you imagine? Holbein, whole check, whole mortgage, whole house note, right? So, um, I gotta show you my if I can find it. Okay, I got fifteen more minutes on here. Okay, so that's okay. So, okay. um, hold on a second. Let me. It's my right, this will work. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, well, what the hell? I must have pressed on something. <laughs> Doc, got it. Okay, so can you see that? Uh huh. I finally got me some of those. It's the Tombow. Um, oh, the water brushes? The colorless blender things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. And then I got the. Oh, these right here. Yeah. These are nice with watercolor. And then you got some of this. Yep. What color did you get? Clear. Okay. And then I got um what color do I have? A cocoa wild book. Oh, I got frosty sparkle kiss. But they have so many pretty colors. And then I got um this. This is what I'm excited about. <laughs> what is that? that hatchet hero oh book. that book oh okay and then the one next to it i'm kind of curious i can't wait to see it um sorry about my screen it's all scratched up but um that's a creative haven book the one next to it oh is it yeah it looks different i see creative haven on there that's different yep so yeah i'm kind of curious on um yeah, I can't wait. I'm all excited. I was looking on Amazon and thought of you the other day. They had um, a set of um, dark skinned, I want to say pencils. Skin tone. Say, yeah. And that's all it was. It wasn't like it wasn't like mixed skin tone for light, dark, medium, whatever. It was for dark tones only. Well, who made it? Uh son of a puppy. Oh, that's okay. Um I don't remember. I'll look it up, but um, and I'll send you the link to it. But um I thought, God, she's like always wanting like the, oh, I got everything I want now with the skin tone. Oh, do you? Yeah, because they're all in, and that's why I need to separate these things. Because, um, and actually, my skin tones, I'm going to not mix them in with my other 180 because the 180 um, Black Widows has the light and the dark skin tone set. And then I bought that um, a hoo hoo skin tone set, which has light and dark skin but it's got mostly dark skin yeah oh i got my dark skin collection going now oh awesome hi miss taylor yeah. may hey taylor may 
And then also um, I got some charts. So, you know, I got the skin tones for, in the Prisma colors, you know, so I know which ones make up it, make up it, make up the skin tone. How you doing, Taylor Made Blue? Taylor Made, you see that post I made over there? Somebody, I ain't even over in that area. Somebody over there adding me to their foo la la. <laughs> I had to get it together over there. You missed you. Oh, I was just, I popped in on a couple of things. I, I'm not going over there as much. It just stresses me out over there with them people. Because I feel like I want to cuss out a couple of bitches like just right away. <laughs> oh, she said she saw it. <laughs> and I'm not going to be talked about by no ugly dyke. I, I need pretty people to talk about me. The hell? That girl yeah, ain't She, no said, she said they have to be above an eight. Yeah, I need some fun. If you're going to drag me. Yeah, Taylor May said, I oh, totally understand. And I wasn't even over there. Like, you know, I know they were doing girl talk and stuff, but somebody going to say, oh, she hasn't spoken to me since since I did something to Jay Dunn. I'm like, first of all, why are you even associating me with Jay Dunn and me not speaking to you? Those are two different things. Those are apples, oranges, and paint, so mango, you're, and So you seriously going to swatch all those paints? N not really. I might just do a couple in my swatch book. I don't, I don't, for some reason, swatching paint just not the same as swat, like swatching pencils. Right. But if I did swatch them, I would swatch them in my water on watercolor paper. I would not swatch them on um, in a swatch book. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was just bringing you back. That's all. Yeah, because you do them light, dark, the paper. I mean, the colors is too many variables. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take these out. Yes, yeah, were... too many variables, huh? Okay. I was just bringing you back. You were getting a little wound tight there. Oh yeah. Think Taylor May said it's too much negativity, right? And I wasn't even over there doing nothing. I would just happen to be catching up on the fool la la, and then my name come up in the fool la la. I'm like, I don't even like none of them bitches. I don't like none of them. How y'all over there talking about me in that mess? Because they were talking about Jay Dunn. I know why, and but why do you associate with me with Jay Dunn? Like, all y'all need to sit your ass down somewhere. Get a damn coloring book and leave me the fuck alone. My husband <laughs> made the most awesome, awesome chicken and rice dish the other day. Now that you could think about me with, because I love chicken and rice. Oh, I'm, I'll take a picture of the recipe. It was so good, Bill. I mean, so good. I told him this is going to be uh, like a regular. <laughs> yeah. Chicken and rice is so good. And I like it because you can also change it up. You know, if you add your vegetables and stuff. And yep. girl, it's just so easy and it freezes well. It's good leftover. You can add your spices. Yep. He had, it was chicken and rice and peas. And uh, we were sitting there thinking, geez, you know what? It, broccoli would be really good in here. Yeah. Uh, and we're sitting there thinking, hmm, this would be good in there. That would be good in there. <laughs> Everything that's just like the basics, and then you add the different spices and put some curry in there, or you could put some chili powder to make it Mexican like, or curry to make it Asian. It had thyme in it. Mm hmm. Um, I know thyme it had chicken, it had cheese. Um, I think it had milk. Um, I don't know, there was a bunch of spices. I he does. He likes to look up recipes. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I I hate following a recipe. <laughs> I'm one of those ladies that if I put something in a in a meal, it's a pinch of this and a slash of that. And <laughs> oh. I, I don't I don't like to measure things. I just put it in there and taste it and see if it tastes good. Yeah, and see, then you can use different type of rices, jasmine rice, balsamic, bas I mean, basmatic, basmati rice. Does that jasmine rice, does it taste like a flower? 
Yes, it smells like a, it has. It doesn't taste like a flower. It has the flower smell. I love jasmine rice. Um, it's light and fluffy. If you yeah, make I it right, you have to make taste the perfumey part. No, uh, uh, it don't taste like perfumey. No, it's good. It's I, I like, I like. Yeah, I love it. I love that one, and I love Balsamani. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not much on the wheat rice. I don't, I don't like brown rice. You would think I would. People are like, well, you seem like you eat healthy. I mean, I do, but I don't like brown. Brown rice and brown pasta. I think I must have OD'd on it when they kept saying years ago that it was healthier to eat. Well, no, it's not, especially if you have a wheat allergy. <laughs> right. So a lot of people don't even think about that. Years ago, nobody had a wheat allergy. Nobody even knew what it was. Yeah, I think there was a lot less allergies years ago than there is now. Yeah, now you're allergic to everything. Yeah. You know allegedly healthy or not but yeah weed allergies and kids nuts allergies and stuff like we didn't know nothing about all that not unless you swole up in the hives and had to go to the emergency room we never knew we just dealt with allergies yeah i mean seriously my husband was in his late 50s early 60s when he come down with a milk allergy i mean really that just i don't know how you do that yeah. I mean, to the point where, like, if he has it, he gets violently sick. Yeah. Then just out of the blue, because, you know, we used to go through a gallon of milk a week around here. Mm-hmm. I guess your body just gets sick of it. That's it lets right. you know slightly that, you know, like giving you the bubble gut and all that, but some people just ignore those things. Then finally, one day, it'll just say, you know what? I'm so sick of you not listening to me. I'm going to really let you know that I don't want any dairy. You know what the weird thing is? Is we don't use regular milk anymore because I am. We use the almond milk. And uh, now I don't, I don't have an allergy, but if I have regular milk, like if I sit down and drink a glass of just milk, um, it'll cramp my stomach really bad. Well, you know, we don't really need milk. They say that we're the only animals. We're, I'm saying animals because yeah, they right. they that eat that drink or that deal with anything with milk. Because once you're not a baby anymore, you don't really have a need for milk. Right. I guess it's um not good for your digestive system. Right. I said we're the only animals. <laughs> okay, I have tore up this beautiful gift that um <laughs> beautiful gift of watercolors and a brush that blue skies gave me. Now put you on I, big screen. I am gonna keep this box for something. Cause this is hard, but this, I, I, this, so thank you so much for your gift. <laughs> put, put you on big screen. You're on little screen. It's hard to oh. see you. I love it. She gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you for your gift. <laughs> I didn't ripped it up. So that's a compliment. If somebody gives you something and they rip it up, <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> Yep, but you only, like I said, you only ripped up the packaging. Yeah, so I'm just making it easier for me to uh, use. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, because I was like, I got two empty, but this is 48. So I can use these two for something else. This is uh, 48 uh, watercolors. So, um, and then I will put the magnetic things in here. You got to put one of the squares... Hold on, let me see how it's going to work. Oh, it's sticky on one side and magnetic on the other. Mm -hmm. Hi, T. Danielle. Hey, T. Danielle, baby. T. Danielle, you see I was over there minding my business. And I was over there and I saw my name was up in some damn conversation that I ain't got nothing to do with. So I had to write a nasty little comment on the wall. 
I ain't going over there because every time I go over there, there should be some F stuff. Why the hell are y'all talking about me over there and y'all little fuck shit? I sure did. I typed a nasty little message on my um on my uh community wall, and I don't care. Oh bitches. <laughs> I put it on my community wall, but I guess they had some kind of you now or something like that. I don't even know what it was. Cause see, I that's why I don't need to go over to certain places because I don't need all that drama. Miss View busted your ass and she don't care. Yeah. <laughs> that damn uh Benzo her old ugly self. Don't talk about well, if you hadn't said nothing to me since I got into it with Jay Dunn, I'm like, I don't care about none of y'all over there. Okay, and I mean none. So why did you because you over there dragging Jay Dunn? Why you got to put my name in it? The hell? I ain't even over there. I don't even talk to the half of them people on the YouTube. People keep talking to me and I don't want them to, to talk to me. <laughs> don't want to. I don't like half of the people over there. Well, I'm gonna say 75%. Eight, I'm gonna say 80 people, 80%. I don't like them. You know, I don't watch a lot. I know, right? Well, you ain't miss nothing, and I need to not watch too. It made me mad. I've been over here calm. I got bigger fish to fry in my life, and I don't need to be watching them old bitches. <laughs> I don't. I got I got issues. And look, and then okay, I'm gonna keep this too because this can be a palette. Oh, there you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I didn't completely tear up my gift. Thank you. Thank you, blue skies. I'll come back and uh swatch it or something. I'll do something. I'll color it into my new watercolor book. So yeah, I found a huh? That was neat. I like your watercolor book. Yeah, for five dollars, thirty-six pages. Yep. I like what you're doing too. That was that's it's cool. Yeah, that's gonna be my my little daily sketchbook. So I've got three projects. So I got that book, and then I'm doing a color along, and then I'm organizing these. So I got to get some more stickers to put the numbers on those three hundred, and then to finish these up, and then I think I'll be done with that. As far Can't as you just my... make some of the number things with a piece of paper and just put the tape around it. Um, I could. Yeah, I could. Well, I can't write. Uh, uh So I'm not going to set myself for, for writing the numbers. I could print them out and then, uh, but then I'd have to cut them. No, I'm just going to get the stickers. See, because of my author, I, I'm not right. trying to do tedious stuff. Yeah, because yeah. I think I had thought about that, but this has gotten so bad now. I can't, you know, every little, like I got to conserve my energy. <laughs> Oh no, I get it. I yeah. Have... So yeah, if I wasn't, if my hands were feeling good, yeah, I would just either write it or just uh, print it out. You know. Have I talked to you since I went to the doctors? Uh uh. Oh yeah, I got the arthritis in my knees and stuff, and he gave me a nice shot in there. Oh yeah, you did talk to me since then. Yeah, and and I know it hurt, but it's good. It's gonna last a while. And then when it wears off, you just get another one and you just keep getting them until they don't work anymore. And then right. and then you worry about other options, but always get those shots. I, I'm a firm believer. Oh, I got to go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. My guests are here. So I oh, will... Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Right. I'm getting ready to go right. out. Somebody's gonna take me out. All right, bye, y'all.